Okay, I'm back. I don't think I need to say I'm back three times, and people get tired of me saying I'm back three times. Alright, so other things I'm looking at. Kind of like to introduce before we get back into gameplay. Um, started watching Konosuba Season 3. Um, noticed an interesting little mistake. I don't have the, I don't have any screenshots of it. It make for a good video. Um, it, it just, if you want to look it up for yourself and beat me to the punch, just go to episode one and that scene where Megumin blows up the mountain. Um, other thoughts. Watched a video. It was about a, it was about this guy, Northwest Repair. Uh, and he was fixing a bunch of 3060s. And, um, I think they were all gigabyte. I turned my head, looked through the side of my case, and at the 3060 graphics card that I have, and a big glowing gigabyte on the side. Yeah, I think I'm gonna go get like a uh, graphics card bracket or make one. Because, you know, I found them on Amazon. But I think, well, you know, I gotta go to town anyway, so I'll just stop by Home Depot. And see what they got. I mean, I know they got things like screws and bolts and things like that. I'm pretty sure I can go out to my shop and maybe get some pieces of pipe and cut it to length, but eh, I don't want to put that rusty stuff in my computer. All right, back to gameplay. No, thanks. I've already got my own plans, and they don't involve hanging out with you forever. Uh, get the plans. Is there much call for your line of work here, then? No, not really. It's all pyramids these days. And there's not much work you need to actually design them. Hmm, they look pretty complex, though. I mean, you have to get the points sharp. Well, yes. But the mathematics was worked out a millennia ago. My only real task these days is trying to fit the client's budget into the calculations. Still, I've had a few ideas. A pyramid ets, multi-user pyramid arcology complexes, etc., etc., etc. Okay, who was the comedian that uh, said that the pyramids were actually supposed to be big, giant cubes, but... <sighs> Was it George Garland? Yeah, I know I was looking at all those pencils in that guy's ear, and I'm thinking of that time in Hiu Yu Yuri, I think it was Sakurako, was sticking pencils in Akari's buns. I don't know, it seems needlessly cruel to make fun of someone whose entire life consists of playing with gigantic blocks. Why are pyramids so popular? Well, it's all just a matter of time. Time? Yes. Well, a lack of time. You see, a pyramids alter the flow of time, slow it up, or sometimes accelerate it. So, what the people want is for me to make a pyramid where time slows almost to a stop at the middle. Then when they feel themselves begin to croak, they can bung themselves in there, and hopefully, in a millennia or two, someone will have figured out a cure for what ails them. And does anyone ever figure out a cure for what ails them? No, of course not. They're all too busy building pyramids. <sighs> I have a terrific design here for a reverse pyramid. One for accelerating time. It's a great. I can age wine in a second. But do you think I can get the funds or equipment to build it? <sighs> no. It's always design a maze to protect the king of kings this, or raise a monument to the king of kings that. Call that a profession? Cause I don't. Hmm, just think I know where to come if ever I want to change the flow of time. I wish I could skip past this next few hours of gameplay and see how the end credits turned out. Yeah, <laughs> spoiler alert. Not as good as the first game, or the third game. Alright. I better ask the storekeeper first. 
Popping humors. Popping humors. Genuine popping humors. Take it home and do it yourself. I let it go at half price, even though I'm cutting my own hand off. Off, off, off. Or oh, relics. Relics of Fendi. Brand new relics, only half a dinar. New relics? How can you have new relics? Through the magic of pyramid power, Offendi. Through the effects of time distortion, we now can bring you all the prestige of ancient artifacts without the annoyance of having broken old rubbish cluttering up the house. I guess I was talking to the so wrong what's guy. about pyramid power, then? Ah. My esteemed dress bedecked one. The pyramids are mystic centers of great power. Within them, time is slowed or time is sped. And they also shop in hamburger and keep razor blades fresh. Ha-ha! Four functions for the price of one. Yours for a desert song, Offendi. A thousand dinar. And hey, I'm cutting my own hand off. No, thank you. I'm trying to give them up. Ah, uh, rock seller. Is that a dog You're licking? A rock loving sort of fellow. Do you have any candy, Rock? What, like trolls eat and lose all their teeth on? Yup, there's a slab of it just here. It's terrifically popular. Pumping well, you can throw boys. it at someone and no one gets hurt, see? Good stuff for stonings. I mean, you get to stone the victim all over again on another day. So this candy, Rock, can I have it then? Oh, certainly. I mean, why bother even paying any money? I'm just glad to be of help. Pumping boys. Sorry about that, sir. It's just supply and demand. Maybe you should try the next stoning. It should only be in a full moon or two. Someone's sure to have done something stonable by then. I can't wait for two full moons. I'm on a timetable, I am. What am I going to do now? Have you ever considered, sir, engaging in a long and almost pointless quest to achieve the same results we Bobby almost had boys. squared away a mere few seconds ago, sir? Do I look the sort of person who'd... Go! I do, don't I? I really do. <sighs> ah! Witness the all-powerful mystic-type skills of what would be the Far East if that direction existed here. Watch now as Yuri Jella manipulates the metal objects with the modern powers of his magnificent brain. Strain! Strain! Oh, the end has fallen off. Oh, good, we can't skip to the jingle here. Way, you wouldn't happen to know anything about jingles, would you? Yuri Jella knows all about jingles. You bring Yuri bells and he will make them jingle. You want big jingle or little jingle? You'll be hearing bells soon if you don't pay attention. I mean jingle as in short, catchy song. Some meaningless little tune that goes around and around in your head all day. Ah, now Yuri understands. You mean like... Oh. <laughs> that, 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 uh, yeah, that's the one. You, 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 Yuri, you, 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 Yuri. I can't pronounce you, you, Yuri, correctly. Okay. Yuri, please to be of assistance. Let's just leave. I say, can you maybe do me a little favor? I have some things here that need straightening out. No problems, my good man. Strain. Strain. Oh, my nose has started to bleed. Now look what you have made me do. All down the front of Dad's good shirt. <laughs> um, my mom told me that I should wear Dad's good shirt for this game. So I got a shovel. Mm 
No, he can hear it. Go. Ah, witness the all-powerful mystic-type skills of what would be the Far East if that direction existed here. Watch now as Yuri Jella manipulates the metal objects with the modern powers of his magnificent brain. Strain. 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 Oh, the end has fallen off. <laughs> click the candy, talk to Yuri, click the jingle. All oh. right, so what do you do? Yuri Jella uses the power of the mind to restart our glasses and to bend and unbend the metal things and to find out tomorrow's news today. So does it work? Um, uh, Yuri also has a special skill at putting things on top of other things. How lovely for you. I wonder if Yuri Cheller ever sued uh, Psychnosis. Mystic powers, then. We have the fabulous pyramid powers of time and space. We have the mystic men sitting in deserts, and we have cut-rate camels. Although they're not quite so mystic, but they can't half spit. Oh, really? Is that all? You want more? Then we have the fountain of youth. Yes, indeed, you can get a second childhood without all the dribbling and unfortunate bad type smells. Now that sounds more like it. Where might I find that? Oh, uh, I've forgotten. When they call your people fakers, they're not joking, are they? How dare you cast aspersions on my mighty powers of, um, uh, the, uh, uh, what's it called? It was on the tip of my tongue. Mine's gone blank. Um, oh, oh, I... Memory, there is a prospector what comes through here every now and again. He goes everywhere. He's been around for centuries. You ask him if he's ever seen a greater sage than Yuri Jella. Well, there I am. I'm not too sure what I'm supposed to do with that. I know when later on I'm supposed to bring the suffragester over here. Like, over 45 minutes into this and... Where are Ooh, there you are. Oh, you look better every day, Angus. What with the sun and the sand, an exclusive diet of mushrooms. I'd go quite mad if it wasn't for you, Angus. No, 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 no. You can't play a king on a seven. You cheating little get off. How many cards do you have there anyway? Ah, a holy madman on a wheel. He must be sage of the desert. He'd be in real trouble if I had some onions. I don't get the reference. But I do, yeah, the, um, ST Ungolant. <laughs> yeah, I talk about putting the horse's ass before the cart. So you're... Yeah. You're good then, are you? I mean, you know, wise, wise. Wise? Wise? If I was any wiser, I'd be a leopard skin bikini. That wise, eh? Nyaha! I'm so wise that I will now provide you with your heart's desire. A jingle written for your sinful modern type. You know, I think the Arch Chancellor has a leopard skin print bikini. Oh, yeah, I do have a story. I do have an army story. No, no, not now. Thank you. I'm busy. Mm, baste it for 12 minutes. 12. 
Fool, 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 and fool again! How can you never remember? Nyaha, there! Here's a jingle written expressly for your clicky project to promote death. Oh, promote the death. What? You've written it for me now? Just like that? No quests or anything? Wonderful! Thank you! Thank you very much! You! You! You're... You're... You're most welcome! So can I have it? No! Ah, oh, I might have known. There's going to be a quest after all, isn't there? Not for me, but for Angus! He says he's sick and tired of being woken up all hours in the night by people coming here and asking us the riddle that has baffled philosophers since the dawn of time. Why? 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 Why what? Why anything? Why everything? Why are we here? Why are you here? Why am I here? Now that's a hard one. Right then. It's why? Yes, why? Drink blood dry. Difficult. Why? That's the question, okay? No problem. Right. Well, I'll just go off and find this answer for your invisible friend Angus, shall I? Is that fine by everybody? Right? Good, well, here I go. Good old Rincewind, there's nothing better to do than trudge all over the disc, fetching one bloody thing after another. Right, now, where were we? Oh, yes, dealer takes two. Um, honestly, I don't think I'm too far away from that. <laughs> yeah, here I am, um, I'm a guy who's using a cartoon fox. Time. Correctly shaped and oriented. With proper paracosmic measurements correctly plumbed in, the temporal potential of the great mass of stone can be diverted to accelerate or reverse time over a very small area. In the same way that a hydraulic ram can be induced to pump water against the flow. The whole point of a correctly built pyramid is to achieve absolute null time in the central chamber so that a dying king tucked up there will indeed live forever or at least never die the time that should have passed in the chamber is stored in the bulk of the pyramid and allowed to flare off once every 24 hours What was it that Mumra said all the time? I can't remember. <laughs> I'll get you, Lion. Oh, I swear I'll get you. Uh, evil powers me, grant me power. Or, what, what did Mumra say all the time? That's nice. One bandaged wooden arm. It's amazing how the wood changed color. This skeleton belongs to the vultures, I presume. This must be that carry-on baggage I'm always hearing about. Let's just leave him. Still got the mouse! See, if you don't take the, uh, the uh, rotten arm, those guys won't be there. These guys right here. Say, have you ever considered using your talents commercially? Oh, yes. I mean, I could rent myself out for scaring crows off the crops. Liven up children's parties, that sort of thing. No, no, no. I mean, you're singing. Would you consider doing some singing for me? What? Oh, well, I, I suppose it could be done. Tell you what. 
Prize us down from here, and we'll see what we can do for you. Let's see. Do we need that for later? <laughs> I guess I go go to Pokey Wood. I better ask the wardrobe lady first. Oh, it's the frog suit that would later turn up in Horui Susania. Hmm. That horse suit. You can't afford it, love. But I tell you what. I'll swap you the suit for some new props for our new jelly baby and night clicky. Costume jewelry would be nice. Anything gaudy and showy? Well, what you waiting for? Go off and quest for something. Are you absolutely sure you're a woman? Of course I'm sure. Some of us are secure in our sexual identity, you know. Oh. What was this? 1994? A good 20 years ahead of its time. 25 years ahead of its time. Uh. There we are. One jelly baby and ring, just for you. Ooh, ta! It's going to look wonderful. We need something to go in the navel of sinful Sabrina, the belly dancer in scene 13. Oh, really? Oh, yes. Actually, you could uh, help Sabrina try on a costume if you'd like. Really? Where is she? Right here, big boy. Just wait there. I'll go get my bells and tassels. Gangway! <laughs> so you saw how she uh, bit the ring? Well, I remember, it was like, someone bit a gold medal and got into a lot of trouble. I kept thinking, well, that was kind of a common thing in cartoons. As a matter of fact, I just saw it in Handyman Saito. A guard bit a gold coin. Uh, Some of these I remember from playing the game over 20 years ago. There we go. We now have a 10 ton weight. Wait, wait, you said we need novelties? There was a place where there was a big sign that said novelty on it. ILM. <laughs> Ah, uh, get the camera, I believe is over here, there it is. Like one of those places where, oh, there, there's luggage. I'd better ask before I take one. Ah. Uh, Some of these had me tripped up for a very long time when I first played the game. Explosions. Put enough explosions into a clicky and who cares what the plot's like? You can put in giant rubber dinosaurs for all Hey, I it's care. Michael Bay! Explode. I need an imp. To go inside a camera, I mean. You seem to be the right sort of man to talk to. No, you can't have any. 
I need him. I need him all. We're gonna blow all Ankh-Morpork pork apart and have it stepped on by a giant crane fly. A crane fly? That doesn't sound like much of a monster to me. Well, not to me either, but it does look pretty damn scary if you get it right up close to the camera. But that's not all. We've got explosions, crashing buildings, and screaming women with their clothes artfully disarranged. It's going to be a classic. That's all very well, but do you think I can borrow an imp for a while so I can do some photography? Oh, yes, take the one on top of the water tank. We don't need him until we do the Valley of the Trolls this afternoon. Mm, right there. That's the clue that I missed last time. The first time. Let's just leave. Now we're ready to take pictures. I'm not too sure why I need pictures for. I don't have that. Oh, I forgot that door was there. Right, now let's see what we have here. Oh, yes, deathly pale. Uh, that's quite fashionable these days, but have I got a face for you? Now, what about this? This ain't quite my style, sweetheart. Oh, well, I dare say someone will like it one day. All right, how's about... Yes? Hey, look at this look. You ever looked at a look looking like this looks? Either my watch is stopped or I'm deaf. All right, I just know you're going to love this one. Uh, how does that feel? Hasta la vista, rinse wind. Look, this isn't working. I want something more, more direct, more glamorous. Oh, so you're suddenly the big expert, are you? Bring me a picture of the Elven Queen, then. That's real glamour. I'm not budging so much as a brush until you bring me decent reference material. Uh, a number of years ago, 2019, I believe. Or, okay, I'm, I'm looking at the, uh, so I'll end this episode. The story, um, I made, I did a video a long time ago. I was, uh, I compared, um, episodes of Sinko-san with Strike Witches, specifically the haircut episodes. Where people were, where Sinko was giving Nakano a bunch of different haircuts, and then, um, Rukiri gave, uh, Sakamoto a bunch of different haircuts. I'm trying to remember if this is like something that was pretty common. Oh, one thing I haven't done yet is save this game. Okay. So this is a good spot to stop.